hi beautiful people you are welcome to my youtube channel please please just subscribe like and share thank you very much so on this video i i have let me just say advice for married women i have an advice for married women because Things goes wrong every day and nobody is perfect. I am not saying this in the sense that I am perfect. No, I am not perfect. Yeah, I am not perfect. But what I'm trying to say is that when you decide to marry, you decide to, to, that is, to put away all except the one your husband wants you to go along with it in his house. Okay? So, that is it. So what I'm trying to say is that as a married woman, you having friends when you were single, single life is very, 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 yeah, um, that is somehow you, you, you go to anywhere you want, you come back when, where you want. If, if you are a working class lady, you go to work, go to your business, come back, freshen up. You can even eat and leave your plate there and go to bed, wake up the next morning, take care of it before you go out. But as a married woman, it can't work. As a married woman, it can't work no matter how your husband loves you or maybe whatever. So, um, there is one thing particularly, number one. Number one thing is that as a married woman, when you were single, you have friends, you people gist, you people talk a lot of things, you know, you people talk a lot of things and you don't expect that same habit or that same friend. To follow you to your husband's house that might only happen when when your kind of people you move with they increase you because in this life it's not everyone that you move with that will increase you some are there to bring you down and some are there to lift you up so as a married woman and you want a successful home is for you to select okay it's for you to select your friends before going to your husband's house Okay, that, that is number one. Number two is, after you making that choice and um, and um, you go to your husband's house, um, it's not everything your friends, maybe they say about people or maybe about your husband or about them, their self. Some women are fond of a little thing that will happen. They will take it out to their friend. The same way they gossip their husbands to their friend, the same way the same way them also gossip their their friends to their husband and as a man that want a peaceful home as a man that does not want a breakage as a man that does not want that does not want all those um maybe divorce so the man will now look at it and now say this is your friend you have to avoid that your friend you now you'll be the one now announcing the man that the man does not have right he, um, the man must not choose a friend for you why would the man that before you know the man you know your friend before it's true before you know that man you know your friend before but the truth is that my dear you cost it you cost it because you cost it by you any little thing maybe any little thing you use your friends to to become a topic to your husband and you expect a man a wise man and a reasonable man Will say no if i didn't stop my wife from this person that is going to bring problem and and then um, divorce you know so the man will now say okay my dear you have to stop and you'll be announcing the man why would the man tell you to stop the man cannot stop you from your friends and people that does not know and does not know the value of marriage they will not say eh, why now why you know i can never get married to somebody that is controlling me no those are the people that want to break your marriage my fellow women those are the people that want to break your marriage. So if you don't want your husband to scare you away from people, from your friends, you have to learn to keep your mouth shut. Because the same way you, you, the same way any little thing, you, the moment as your husband left home, you pick your phone, like her to like her, like her to like her, and you want tomorrow the man to just fold hand and watch his wife bringing uh, um, calamity in his home that he has suffered to build. So maybe you are the type of woman that does not value marriage. The man values it. So please, calm down. Stop discussing your, 
your um, your friends to your husband and stop discussing your husband to your friend stop it it's not nice if you do that you will see your marriage will work nobody is perfect in the first place nobody even me that i'm talking to you Nobody on this planet is perfect, but we all we are just trying to make what they call a success Let's just let's just really try to To be successful in marriage So you mind what you say you mind what you do I Know when I was growing up. I know of a family in my street Before we before that guys we know of that family the moment that um, that man get married to that woman, he changed the woman entirely. Maybe you are a type that you like to dress half naked. It's not all the men that love that. Some men they love it, some men does not love it. So you have to look at it. Not that you will just hear the name of marriage, you will just jump into marriage. Oh, I want to marry, I want to marry. When you get there, your husband will not say, ah, honey, stop. Don't be exposing your body too much. You will say it's a computer age. Computer age? Hmm. So my dear, as a woman, we really need to calm down, calm down a little bit. We really need to look into our husband's eyes and understand what they are trying to say. I know some people now will just come and say, eh, you don't marry, you never marry. Yes, I know. I'm not married. I am not married, but at least everybody around me, they are married. I know what I'm saying. I am not saying it that maybe it's all the married women. No. Some married women are so, so, so decent and so calm. And those kind of people, those are the kind of people I work with. Those are the kind of people we as singles, we need to work with. So as a single, nobody should tell you you are more um, that um, maybe uh, see your maid, don't marry, finish. You don't want to go and marry, don't want to do that. No. Okay? No. Make sure you calm down. Marriage. It's not easy <laughs> marriage is not easy okay marriage is not easy so please it's not something you just wake up one morning because people say hey, you are getting older you don't want to marry you don't want to do this no before you decide to go to any man house you have three things three things you have three things to take care of in your life as a personal like as a personal matter in your life Number one of those three things, learn how to keep your mouth shut. Don't talk at always. Number two, learn to manage. Manage. Learn to manage, number two. No matter how rich your husband is, learn to manage. If you manage, you will save the man money. So you will save the man's money and the man will be so happy having somebody like you in his life. Okay? So, and number three, which is the last one, is for you to have what they call respect. Respect. It's very easy. Respect. But it's not easy for some people. Yeah. Every man needs respect. Whether you like it or not, every man. Whether you like it or not, every man have respect and uh, need respect. Sorry for that. Every man need respect. So you respect the man. Okay? And if you do so, you will have a wonderful marriage. Because women, we don't have power. It's only that. So as a woman, the same way I'm talking to you, I'm still advising myself. The same way as I'm talking to you now that you are watching this video. I am talking to myself either. Okay? So, I love you. All the married women out there, I have something for you people. Oh yeah. Mm. I love you. I love you. Please, if today is your first time you are coming across my channel, please, just help your sister. Please subscribe. Please subscribe, like, and share. To your platform friends family your loved ones your neighbors okay thank you love you